For tonight, Emily. We showed the first day of construction for a dike repair near Fremont. Now the weather is getting warmer and time is running out, but construction crews are determined to protect their city. We are concerned over the next couple days as the, the, the plant heats up, we're going to see more meltwater come our way. It's a race over who can move the fastest, the melting ice rushing from the Platte River or the construction crews repairing a breached dike nearby. We have to get this stopped right here. This is the source of the problem. It's located near Lake 8 on the banks of the Platte River, just south of Fremont. Joel Jelkin, the caretaker of the Fremont Rod and Gun Club, says the dike has breached before. That's why the club, the city, and Dodge County officials knew something had to be done right away. It's critical that we get this done now. The amount of water that could go through here had they not put this plug in, would have overwhelmed County Road 19 and gone into Fremont. County Road 19 was already hit by flooding and was underwater just last weekend. Immediately tried to raise County Road 19 to keep that from happening again. Jelkin says everyone in Fremont has been on pins and needles this year, wishing history wouldn't repeat itself. I honestly was hoping, which is a bad strategy, <laughs> that we would sneak by this year so we could get some more repairs in place. Um, it's a little demoralizing, quite honestly. As trucks haul in rock and dirt, the workers hope their hard work can stop another year of flooding. Not really about us. It's about keeping the water out of South Fremont. The construction crews hope to get everything patched up by tomorrow. Jelkin says this repair is not the permanent solution, but he says it's better than nothing. Back to you.